Hey, I'm Caleb with Maine's Woodshop, and today we're gonna make the barn birdhouse. Welcome to Maine's Woodshop. Been making this really fancy clipboard shop kit box. Go Maine's Woodshop cheer. Making this awesome beer mug. We're making a birdhouse today. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go away. Don't, don't click off the video yet. You might be thinking, ah, noob project or ah, birdhouse. That's just something. That's just a basic box you put together with a hole when you're. This is going to be a really cool birdhouse. So just stick with me on it, all right? I promise it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. We're going to use cedar for our birdhouse. This is my plan for the barn birdhouse. I'm gonna use plywood to make the body of the house and I'm gonna take that cedar and cut it into slats that I'll glue on the outside to make it look like a slat construction. It's gonna be pretty cool. I have a colored version of this too so I could kinda of get an idea of what it may look like when it's done. And uh, here's what that looks like. We've got all kinds of plywood scrap here. For the main body of the house, I need to figure out how tall I want it to be. Maybe about there looks like a good height. Now I'm just going to cut out the sides of the birdhouse. I almost forgot I need to cut these at a 45 degree miter for the rooftop. Since I forgot about that, that means I also need to cut the sides of my birdhouse down again. So now I'm just going to glue and screw the basic frame of the main house together. See, that was simple enough. I just need to find a, a suitable piece of plywood. This looks suitable to me. And make the side birdhouse. I think maybe about this tall looks good. And it's gonna go down at this angle. I don't know what this angle is, but uh, the miter gauge will tell us what that angle is. So after setting the saw up with the random line I drew, it looks like a 22 and a half degree thing. I've also set up a stop block so I can make two of these. Never mind, that's a lousy stop. Take two with a much better stop block. And here you can see I've just set up the the pocket hole jig to attach these. And I've got it to where it's on the outside. I don't care if you can see the pocket holes on there, on the outside, because we're putting cedar strips over it. Those screws are gonna be hidden. You, you'll never know. Glue, clamp, screw. Do the same thing on the other side. I hear woodworkers say that there's controversy about using pocket hole joinery. They say that there's people out there that don't like pocket hole joinery, don't think it's real woodworking. I've never heard anybody say that. Is it a conspiracy? All right, so here I've got a piece of my cedar and I'm just gonna cut out a small section for that roof. I wanna get to cutting my thin strips of cedar, so I'm just gonna start by measuring the highest point, about a foot tall. I'll mark about 12 inches on that and start ripping down strips. Uh, 
I have enough cedar slats now cut to cover both the front and the back. Uh, I don't feel like waiting on glue to dry. Is something wrong with that? So instead I'm going to use these itty bitty tiny nails. They'll be able to penetrate through the cedar and into this but not go penetrate into the birdhouse. Uh, I'm going to put glue on the slats themselves. Well, pouring glue over this whole surface and spreading it out. I don't feel like doing it. Yeah, if you want to get the gluing part done real quick, just spread glue over the whole surface. For me, I don't feel like dealing with the mess. Man, I could smell that sweet cedar when I was cutting these strips, let me tell you that much. Putting this one up a little high because I know there's a screw somewhere around here. I'm just kind of holding it down as best I can and then using my coping saw, and guiding the blade along that 45 degree. Watch how the pocket holes go away. Now I'm gonna glue and probably tack this roof on. These roof pieces I'm going to cut at 45 degrees for the top roof. I thought it'd be cool to have some of this Osage orange on the top of the birdhouse as like a little decoration. Straighten that edge up and then I'm going to cut a little cookie off to be a little decorative piece on the top. There we go. And we'll just glue that bad boy right up here. My holes got ended up off center on accident, but it was just because I couldn't get it all the way up in the drill press. I also thought it'd be neat to use this scrap purple heart as like a shutters. A little hole under the big hole for a perch. Glue down in there. Now we're not done yet, but I want to go ahead and mount it to its base, which is this crazy live edge piece of walnut I found. Just flip it on over. I'm really hot and I'm really tired, so I'm gonna let this sit overnight and dry to the base, and then tomorrow we can finish it up. Day number two, the house is solid to the base. So I've got this piece of oak and I'm gonna cut down some thin strips to make the barn door that's gonna go on the front. I'll just cut those shapes to size on the scroll saw. There, and that seemed to work pretty well. Wedge those into place. So it's not just a floating roof, that looks dumb. I also want to fill up that little side wood shed with like firewood. So I'm gonna, I've got this branch that I'm gonna cut down into random lengths and glue them in that fire shed. I just used my chisel and a mallet to cut these firewood pieces, which I've glued down as well. I've also made this little bench, which is gonna go on this side. Uh, out of all the research I've done, they say you don't need to finish birdhouses, uh, because most of the time putting a finish on is pretty much pointless, because it's gonna be outside, it's gonna have constant exposure to sun and rain and all kinds of inclement weather and eventually it's just gonna break down that finish anyways. I want to see the cedar pop so I'm just gonna dab some mineral oil over the whole thing. 
Now I really kind of have zero idea of how to mount this, so my idea was to put a board here and one on the back and use pocket screws and drill it into the base. Really, I really don't know what I'm doing here. It seems to work. Actually, to my surprise, the pocket hole idea seemed to work pretty well, but it seems really solid as it is so it is now out in the wild ready for some birds if you want to make one just a tip uh, some people say you should not put a perch on your birdhouses because they could allow more aggressive species to enter and take over the nest i'm not a bird person i don't care if birds are invading other birds nests or what species uses this as long as any kind of bird uses it i'm happy if you like this project and enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel too because I have new woodworking projects every single Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, some people, what the hell was that? I think it was a squirrel. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week.